by grace through faith that is life after the cross by grace through faith you receive him by grace through faith so you walk in him by grace through faith paul taught forgiveness of sins as the grace of god so the grace of god brings forgiveness of sins touch your neighbor say your sins are eternally forgiven oh be the preacher of good news by your neighbor shout it louder than my voice some people don't like to hear that they actually get angry when we say that the demon inside them comes alive that demon of religion that old dragon that old dragon the serpent when we start talking about eternal forgiveness that old dragon comes out the old dragon the devil who has put on a camouflage of religion clothed with tradition traditional religion that wicked old dragon he comes out how dare you say you are eternally forgiven that spirit of religion can't stand it it is too radical for religion somebody shout i'm eternally forgiven let's provoke the devil some more tell him about the sin i may commit in 10 years has been forgiven the sin you may commit in 10 years time has already been forgiven sin can never stand between a believer and God never there's only one person that stands between the believer and God he's called Jesus there is one mediator between God and man the man Christ Jesus so when I come to God I come through Christ whatever you ask the father in my name the mediator if I'm teaching say I hear you yeah. there's only one mediator who is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only but for the sins of the whole world Forgiven, forgiven, forgiven. Forgiven. I'm not going to be forgiven. I am already forgiven eternally. It's not what I cry for, it's what I collected. It's a gift. It's not an answer to prayer it's not a response to fasting and it's not god's response to begging it is a gift of grace that means even if you cry you cannot qualify even if you cut your body and bring out blood you cannot qualify even if you fast until your intestines are all falling out you cannot qualify so forget about receive it by grace say i receive it by grace i didn't hear your amen it's called the gift of grace forgiveness is the gift of grace Forgiveness of sins. The Greek word is aphesis. Aphesis. The gift of grace. Not temporarily forgiven. Eternally forgiven. Irrespective of how you feel, you are forgiven. Your feeling of guilty does not change the fact that you are forgiven. You are just feeling guilty because you don't know better. And your ignorance cannot make the word work of God of no effect. the reason why you're feeling guilty is because you you don't have knowledge how be it there is not in every man this knowledge so they are called weak in faith what are they called weak in faith not weak faith they are weak inside faith they are already inside faith but they are weak because they have no knowledge that means when knowledge come you are strong in faith If I'm teaching, say, I hear you. 